One, two, one, two, one, two. Okay, push it down, push it down. Push up three. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two, one, two. Now, one, two, let's, let's not. Let's, leave, okay. Turn, push three down a little bit. Push three down a little bit. Push three down. Push three. Okay, anyway. Pass the read. Six and five. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Read, 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 read the fifth angel. Okay. Six and nine. It, it's six and nine. Six and nine. Six and nine. The fifth angel. Listen to this. I want y'all to listen to this. That's the fifth seal. It says the. That's the fifth seal. You got the fifth angel. It says. It says. Listen to the message <coughs> of the fifth angel. In, in what does it mean to be sealed? But in chapter seven, verses two. Oh, okay, seven, two, two. Oh, read it for me. Read it for me. Read it for me. And I saw. Yeah. One, two. And I saw another angel coming up from this east, carrying the seal of the living God. Huh? And he shouted to those four angels who had been given power to harm land and sea. Wait. Don't harm the land or the sea or the trees until we have placed the seal of God on the foreheads of his servants. Notice something here. Now what's the question again? Watch this. Pay attention. I want you to, I want you to get this because I want you to see something. Listen to the message of the fifth angel. What does it mean to be sealed? What does it mean to be sealed? Huh? What does it mean to be sealed? God has given you something that you would, okay, when they went to the Mount of Transfiguration and they saw, push up, push up three. Push it up, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, okay, down a little bit. When they went to the Mount of Transfiguration and they saw the three, and they saw Moses, Elijah, and Jesus. And then he told them, he said, he said, this is my love son. Listen to him. And they said when they looked up again, they only saw Jesus. In other words, what he was saying was, no longer listen to your yesterday. Elijah was from yesterday. Moses from yesterday. He said, no longer listen to your yesterday. Listen to the Jesus of right now. Till you meet me, meaning God. But watch something. As they went back down the mountain, what did Jesus tell them? I'm going to show you the seal. What did Jesus tell them? Jesus told them, don't tell anybody what you have seen until the Son of God, Son of Man, has risen. So seal this up until an appointed time. That's what a seal is. God said, I'm going to seal this up. And then, and then watch what he told you yesterday. In other words, this is our spiritual secret. Read one. Talk to one with God. Uh -huh. says, um, the seal. Push, push, I think that's four. It says God places his own seal on his followers, identifying them as his own and guaranteeing one, two, one. his protection over their souls. This shows how valuable we are to him. So what it is is, I'm going to tell you something. Remember we talked about that renounce not long ago? When we talked about that renounce not long ago, come on, anybody help me out. Remember we talked, yeah. you were here one night. We, yeah. we said we we're going to renounce something. A renounce comes from what is sealed up. Something about you that nobody knows but you and God and the serpent. Because every time you profess to be a vessel of God, the serpent bring up, you know what you did. You know you done it right now. And don't nobody know but you, God, and the serpent. And God said, Ren renounce this thing. So God, what God is saying is, there's going to come a day when I'm going to let you unseal it, but when you unseal it, you're going to renounce it back to me. Amen. Got it, woman of God? In other words, what he's saying is, this, because, because it has been sealed, what you're dealing with, what you're going through, no harm can come to you. Don't miss this. Y'all hear me? How many people have been a part of some things that they, sh they could have been there or should have been there? Huh? You did not die because there was a seal placed upon your life. Woo, Jesus, thank you. I'm going to hear this. All right, Jesus. 
And God said, this sin, this, I'm going to let the devil torture you with it until one day you mature enough to renounce it back to me. In other words, thank you, Lord, for keeping me, for giving me, even when I didn't want you or I didn't deserve it. And once I renounce it back to God, there was nobody I should judge from that day forward. There, so anytime somebody something happens to me, say you offend me. You know one night you got kind of hot with me. Remember that night? You remember them days? But when you got hot with me and you apologized, I don't know if you remember what I told you. I said, woman, God, don't worry about it. I forgave you even before you did. That's what renunciation does. It takes you to a place of not needing an apology. Because it comes automatic because when you somebody offends you, I thank you for doing it because it shows, give me an opportunity to show that I know. And then, guess what? Show me that my forgiveness now is on autopilot. You know when you put your car on auto, what cruise control? Mm -hmm. It's automatic. I live to forgive. I live to save. I live to speak faith. I, 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 I live for these reasons. You see what I'm about? Because when, when my life there's some things, I'm telling you, saints. There's some things I've experienced. But won't you just tell all your testimony? Some, the part that's sealed, the only part of your testimony that God wants you to reveal unto man is the part that man already, somebody already know. God said, confess it. But if man don't know about it, guess what? It's been sealed. Don't you tell nobody. Don't you break the seal. Can anybody see this? Yeah. Don't break the seal. That's between you and God, but not Satan, no. And if you don't trust in God and don't believe in God, and you still read this book, you can go out there and run your whole mind. I ain't gonna be, I ain't gonna be saved unless I confess unto man. God said, not the things that are what? Seal. You wanna ask the question? So what if you do? Like what if you do? Before. Well, I promise you this. If you confess it, that's not what we'll see. Because God ain't going to let you. If God knows you're going to tell somebody, he ain't going to tell you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But before, you, before he break the seal, he's going to reveal to you what was sealed, what kept you alive, why they couldn't kill you. Why you should have been dead, but you're not. Because that thing that that most would call sin, God say, I, I use this for my good to drive you out of where you don't want to be. Got women walking the street, they don't want to walk the street. Got people on drugs, they don't want to be on drugs. But they came down because they, there's something going in there that eventually is going to drive them to God. And he said, your life has been sealed in this place. And there's something that keeps driving them to that. And God's going to, one day God's going to say, now give that to me. And if you don't know what it is, he'll tell you so you can give it. Come on, woman of God. Oh yeah, there's a lady on in Orlando. She got a she got a, a big old she got a big old billboard. Say from the pole to the pool bit. But she live in Orlando, a church in Orlando. From the pole, in other words, what? My shame to my name. In other words, what? God sin. I'm gonna let my pastor say it. Say it, pastor. Oh, she gotta look it up. Come on, pastor. Help me out, pastor. Help me out, help me out, Pastor. What, 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 what took care of my sin? What took care of my guilt, Pastor? Talk, let the Pastor give it to me. What took care of my shame, Pastor? Talk to me, Pastor. Talk to me. Talk to me. Talk to me. Um, mercy took care of my guilt. God took care of my shame, and grace took care of my sin. Hello, oh, grace my took care of my sin. Mercy took care of my guilt, and God said, "Because you know me now, there is no shame." God took care of my shame. Ain't that good? Ain't that good? All right. Um, one more, one more question. And we out of here. Everybody got this tonight? 
All right, praise the Lord. Now we're gonna start right there because we gotta go into something. We're gonna start right there. So what, what what does it mean to be sealed? We learned that who benefits now that's good. Who benefits from the process the process of the seal? We do. God said it ain't God said, I want you to witness my business. It's your business I'm, I'm not letting you witness. So we benefit. So now, since we asked that question, I can't get into heaven unless I forgive, right? So when I forgive, who do I help? Myself. Now if I offend you, and I come to you, and I ask you to forgive me, if you don't forgive me, can you go to heaven? Huh? But if you don't forgive, I, I might still struggle. So not only are you to forgive, you are to forgive to help you, and forget, forget to help me. Husbands, don't bring it up no more. Wives, don't bring it up no more. So forgive, y'all ain't seen that commercial? The man say, look honey, mm -hmm. even, even liberty, forgive. Forgive. Why don't you? Why don't you? <laughs> so when I forgive, I help me. When I forget what you did to me, I help you. So really, when we go and ask somebody to forgive, we really, that's not really what we want. Can you please just forget about what I did to you? That's, that's really what you want to ask, but that is in the Bible. In the letter. But in the spirit, that's really what you want. Honey, I yelled at you, kid. Will you forgive me? That's not what I want. I'm sorry. I really want her to forget that I yeah. did it. You see this man of God? That's really not what I want. What I really want is you to forget it. Because if you don't forget it, at the right time, you're going to bring it back. And then, you now you're using it, what you should have forgot, you turn it into a weapon against my spirit. We've all been guilty of this, am I right? Amen. So now when I forgive, I help me. When I forget, I help you. Praise the Lord. Everybody good? Yes, amen. All right. Well, man of God, why don't you get out of the night?